Greetings! I had a really fun time the other day making my video about my favorite YouTubers, so I am also going to make this video about my favorite podcasts. And by that I mean paranormal podcasts because that's the only type of podcast that I listen to. I listen to podcasts every day. I started a little over a year ago. I'm only a year in, so I haven't explored this expansive and continuously growing world that is the podcast world, but these are my eight favorite podcasts so far. These are the eight podcasts that I continuously listen to. Number one is Where Did the Road Go? This is um, about a lot of paranormal fringe topics, mysteries, things like that. They're like right at the intelligence level that I like in a podcast. The podcast host, his name is Soraya. He he doesn't seem too enthusiastic, but once you get used to him, he's really great. Their direction is one that is really compatible with me and what I want to know. When Soraya interviews his guests, he's very polite. He does not contradict them. He does not interrupt them. And he's always very, very respectful. And that means a lot to me because it keeps the interviews like with a nice flow. And I think that's really important. Soraya does do interviews. He has special guests on the show, but he also does what's called round tables where he'll have two or three or four other hosts join him, which can be like his friends or other people that are authors or researchers in the paranormal fields. And they'll just chit chat about various topics like immortality or the extraterrestrial hypothesis or time slips or anything, you know? So I really like Where the Road Go. I always listen to them. Number two is Lore. Lore is hosted by a guy named Aaron, and his podcast is a little bit of a different format. He basically does research on a topic from history. It's usually very dark, so each podcast is a little piece of dark history. He reads it from a script, but it flows really well. And then there's always beautiful music in the background. I can't remember who composes the music. I feel bad about that. But it's got a really nice, creepy vibe to it. But it's also very informative. And they're about 20, 25 minutes long. So they're short little snippets. So they're kind of easier to listen to. They're bite-sized, if you will. Number three is Mysterious Universe. If you listen to any paranormal podcast, that one is probably on your list. These are two guys, Ben and Aaron. Two guys from Australia that basically cover anything weird, anything fringe, uh, and their name is sort of fitting for that mysterious universe. It kind of shows that they'll, they'll talk about almost anything. They are very smart, and they have a very healthy amount of skepticism, so they don't just consider everything to be true. They'll, they'll ask questions. They'll say, what if this, what if this, and that that's really stimulating to my mind. The way their show is laid out, they'll usually do about 30 minutes of news, smaller topics, or just general banter. And then for the last chunk of the show, they'll get into the real meat of the show, which might be exploring a book or it might be an interview. They have a lot of variety. Also, when they have guests on the show, when they do interviews, they're also very, very respectful. Their show is very professional. It's very highly edited, but not not in a bad way. So it has a really nice flow and very little wasted time. They are so funny. I have found every single one of their episodes to be something worth listening to. Number four is the Paranormal Podcast by Jim Harold. Oh, Jim. Now, Jim Harold has a background in radio, so this is quite the professional operation he runs. All of his shows involve having a guest on and he interviews them. Lots of times it'll be, for example, an author who's written a new book, so he has the author on and interviews them about the contents of the book. I really, really like the wide range of topics that he covers. It'll be anything, you know, from Bigfoot to ghost hunting to demon possession, but it'll also be things like crystal healing or palm reading or witchcraft, so he's got an amazing wide array of subjects. He's always very humble and respectful towards his guests, and the flow of the interview is satisfactory. He doesn't interrupt his guests, thank goodness. But he asks questions that aren't the questions I want him to ask, if that makes sense. Um, he'll usually go in this different direction when I was hoping we'd go in this direction. And Jim also keeps the show, it's sort of a, an all-inclusive intelligence level, and he makes it family-friendly. 
So I feel like because of that, we can't always go where I want to go, but he's definitely worth listening to. Number five is another Jim Harold podcast. It is called Campfire. This is different than paranormal podcast. What he does is he'll have listeners call in and he will interview them about their paranormal experiences. So it's just anyone calling in telling about stuff that's happened to them. It's pretty cool and it does sort of have sort of an interview layout, but I feel like it still is not really an interview. He just says, you know, tell us what happened and they'll tell him and then he'll go, okay, well, I guess you feel interested in the paranormal since that happened. And they're like, yeah, totally. And then he's like, okay, thanks for calling. And it's not really an interview. Like, I wish he could ask them some supplementary questions like, well, what happened after that or something, you know? But he doesn't really go there. He just kind of like lets them call in, lets them say their piece, and then they hang up. It's kind of hit or miss with how interesting or scary the content is. But once again, it's something that's definitely worth listening to. It's, it's professional. It's fun. Sometimes you do get some really great stories. Number six is Expanded Perspectives, Free Thinking for Dummies. These are two guys from Texas, Cam and Kyle, I think. They are hilarious, and I really like the layout of their show. They will usually touch on various news headlines, paranormal news headlines, to kick it off. And then, almost in sort of a lore format, they will write up some research findings and just read through it. Um, and they touch on really, really interesting topics. Like the last one I listened to was about urban legends, such as The Vanishing Hitchhiker, and it was great. And they usually put music in the background, and I always love that. It just does so much for me. They're also really funny. You might have to get used to the Texas accents, but it's not too different for me living in the South myself. So anyway, they're definitely worth it. Number seven is Rune Soup with Gordon White. Gordon is an author and a magic practitioner, I think. And Rune Soup is a highly intellectual program on magic, culture, and the paranormal. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, this show is a little bit too smart for me. I wanna be that smart. But this show just jumps right in. It doesn't really cater to beginners. It doesn't really give you an introduction like, now before we start, for those of you who aren't familiar with Thai esoteric practices, let's give a brief overview. No, they don't do that. They just jump right on in. But I love Gordon. He is so polite. He's probably the most polite podcast host of the ones that I listen to. And his interviews are very interestingly structured. He, it's almost like a conversation between friends. You're listening to an intelligent conversation rather than, <clears throat> so tell me but Gordon asks great questions and he does go in the direction that I want to go. And I always enjoy listening to his perspectives and his guest perspectives. It's not really a lot of scary content, but it's very thought provoking content. Very uh, theoretical, exploratory. I really enjoy it. And number eight is Anything Ghost hosted by Lex Wall. Lex has a charmingly ghostly voice and he also composes music, which he incorporates into the show. I love the music. His show is made up of listener submitted stories. So either he is reading them in his ghostly voice, or he's playing audio of a listener who sent in a recording of them telling their story. He doesn't really put any sort of divider in between the stories. So sometimes I'm like, wait, are we still in this story? Are we, are we in a new story now? And another thing he does that's kind of a con is if somebody sends in a story and there's a word that's misspelled, he just reads it like it's written. But usually, you know, there aren't any, there aren't too many misspellings or errors or things like that. So everything just flows normally. I love Anything Goes. He doesn't put them out often, maybe like every couple weeks or every month but I'm always ready to listen to the next one. So those are my top eight, but I do have two more that I listen to fairly regularly. And first is Beyond the Darkness. I sort of have a love-hate relationship with Beyond the Darkness. I love them because they cover a wide range of topics, like everything from true crime to cults to 
the scarier things like demonic possession and also things like cryptozoology. And these are two radio guys, Dave and Tim. So it is pretty professional to a degree. And this is where my issue is. I love the show, but Dave kind of throws off my groove a little bit. He interviews his guests a lot. He contradicts them sometimes. He's trying to be challenging, and that's all well and good, but it's, it's not the kind of flow I'm looking for out of these interviews. So he's always like trying to throw everybody off guard, and it's just jarring. And I feel like sometimes he's asking the questions that he thinks his audience wants. Like, if you're so psychic, how did you end up in a bad relationship? Are you serious? He's being a skeptic almost to an argumentative degree, which gets kind of annoying. But I try to look past all of that and just listen to what the guests are telling me because that's why I'm listening to the show is to hear what the guests have to say. And then the final podcast I wanted to mention as an honorable mention is The Brothers Mysterium. This is actually one of the first ones that I started listening to. These are two brothers. What are their names? I can't remember their names. <laughs> they don't interview professionals. They don't interview authors or researchers. They mostly just interview everyday people who say they have had experiences. And that's pretty cool. Some of them are fantastic. But this is a heavily edited, almost a little too edited, but I admire their effort. And I do like music and sound effects. But it almost seems like they're coming at these subjects with a total noob perspective. And sometimes their skepticism seems like uninformed skepticism. Sometimes it seems like it's just for the sake of being skeptical. But they have a unique style. It's very exploratory and very conversational. The brothers will talk amongst themselves a lot. I'm looking forward to seeing what they keep putting out. Those are my top eight paranormal podcasts with a couple of honorable mentions. I do listen to others, but these are the ones that I thought I should mention the most. What I'm gonna do is in the description box, I'm gonna give you a present. I'm going to put my master list of every paranormal podcast I've ever heard of. I haven't listened to all of these yet by any means, but I have listened to a lot of them. So I'm gonna put it below. Feel free to check any of them out. And if you want to know my opinion on any of them below, let me know. And if you have some that I should add to my master list, also let me know. If there are any paranormal fans out there, holla at me because I would love to talk weird stuff, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope these recommendations might do something for somebody. Still not good at ending these things. All right, creepy people, I'll see you next time. Goodbye forever.